Let me just jump in here and say that NBC News is now reporting that inside that courtroom, Donald Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying records, uh, felony counts of falsifying business records. Andrew, what does that tell you? So um, we'd heard reports about the 34, so this is confirmation. The felony counts is really interesting that there are no misdemeanors. Everyone had been talking about whether there would be uh, this filing of false business records uh, that can be charged as a misdemeanor and as a felony. It's very interesting that the choice was made here to only charge felonies. Um, and I do think that we're going to be very interested in seeing how they get there. It does suggest to me real confidence in the case by the district attorney that they are not charging misdemeanors, that they think that their facts and legal theories as to why it is only felonies um, is appropriate here. It, it does suggest, uh, I'd say, real confidence on their part. Uh, and it's worth noting, this is a, a district attorney who initially held off charging when he became uh, the district attorney and said that this case was not ready. And it's only a year later that he has now said it's ready to proceed. And the fact that they're all felonies does suggest to me that there probably was something that happened, in, whether it's witnesses or documents or both, in that intervening year while Alvin Bragg has been the new district well, Andrew, attorney. Let me just jump in here because it's, according to NBC News, it's 34 counts of falsifying records and conspiracy. Now, NBC News is not reporting felony. Reuters and others apparently are. But right now, what, we're, what we are reporting is 34 counts of falsifying business records and conspiracy. So that would be very different. So we, it sounds right. like this is, we're in this, um, we're in an information vacuum. Um, obviously the conspiracy count is one where I think people, including myself, thought that they might bring that in order to have the David Pecker, Karen McDougal information.